Hey guys, today I want to do a video on the U.S. Embassy and a little bit about the VA too a little bit. I, I want to talk about this because a lot of times we, we take the, um, the U.S. Um, Embassy for granted over here. And we also do that a lot with, with the VA. We, 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 take, we take them for granted, everything that they do. I see a lot of guys go in there and they really mistreat the people behind the windows. And even the guards, sometimes they mistreat them. Why can't I get in there? And, and, and these guys are all under orders and stuff. They have to... They, they follow certain guidelines there and it, it's kind of um, hard on them sometimes because they're doing the best that they can do. And I've had nothing but good luck up, up with the U.S. Embassy. I've also had a lot of good luck at, at the VA here. And I can't say anything bad about the VA. I, I honestly can't. I, you know, I, I hear a lot of stories from different people and, and sometimes I think it's the person themselves sometimes because... I, I had some people tell me, well, I contacted them 72 times and, you know, they, 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 I didn't get any help from them. You know, maybe you should try a different number. I, I, I think I know the number that you're talking about. There is a number that when you call uh, the VA up there, it's it's dead most of the time. They don't answer it. They hardly ever answer it. And I'm not sure why they don't. And they put it on their main um, website there. And and I've, I've called it. And then I said, forget it. You know, obviously this number they're not answering. I called it about 10 times before I gave up. I didn't call it 72 times. I, I called about 10 times. And I got to on the other number and I was able to get all the help that I needed. Let me tell you something, the VA, the people there are very busy. They're very, very busy. I actually think they're a bit shorthanded up there. And I'll say this, that they give you their best. The people up there give you their best. I have had nothing but luck with them. A lot of other people that I've, I've talked to have had nothing but luck with them. I run into a few guys that say, well, they didn't do this, they didn't do that. They, you know, they follow the rules. That's The, the rules up there are different than most other um, veterans um, places. But I, today I want to talk mostly about the embassy. But, you know, when you, when you come in contact with these people, don't mistreat them. They're doing what they're told to do. Um, you know, if you're having a problem, you can call, you can call the boss there at the VA, he's, he's on the website there. You can you can you can ask to talk to him and or, or email him and he'll get back to you. He's a very nice man, uh, Kevin McAllister. He's, he's an awesome, awesome person. But um, I wanna give out these facts today and this is like a lot of cool facts on here. I wanna read this one first because this is kind of really fascinating and this kind of blew my mind. And it says, "Do you did you know that an estimated 700,000 US citizens are in the Philippines at any given time. With more than a million annual visitors, the U.S. is one of the largest origin countries of visitors in the Philippines. So at any given time, there are 700,000 American citizens inside the Philippines. That includes tourists, that includes SRRV people, it includes um, Filipinos that became citizens, that includes Everybody, a lot of them come back here to retire, whatever, dual citizens, all that includes all that, 700,000. That's a lot of people, okay? Um, and I'm gonna start giving you a, a whole bunch of other numbers here. That's kind of cool cool facts. Um, it's, it's One says, strengthen U.S. border security. It, they adjudicated 2,092,903 non-immigrant visa applications. They adjudicated uh, 112,576 C1D non-immigrant visas for ship and airline crew members. They issued 1,281 student visas. Interesting. Uh, I thought it would be more than that, but it was. It, it actually is an issued. They issued 30,756 immigrant visas. They issued 3,000. 171 fiance visas. Now I thought that number would be much larger. I was actually surprised that it was only three, 3,171 fiance visas. That's that's kind of incredible. Um, they help children. We we have a special commitment to the world's most vulnerable citizens. We issued 58 IH4 visas to Filipino orphans adopted by U.S. citizens. So 58 Filipino orphans were were uh, adopted in the United States by Americans. Um, and then they help US citizens in the Philippines. They provided more than 21,300 citizenship and passport and notarial services. They assisted families of 1,592 deceased citizens. About about three, three people die 
that are U.S. citizens every day here in the Philippines, okay? Um, they worked on 101 arrest cases and conducted more than 500 visits to detained U.S. citizens, 20 of whom were released and 15 were deported. Uh, they repatriated, now that we did the repatriation loan thing the other day. This is kind of interesting. They repatriated 93 citizens to the U.S. Uh, that means through the repatriation loans and, and things like that. Um, they monitored 70 disasters nationwide in the Philippines. They provided more than 800 welfare and whereabouts and other services to U.S. citizens in the Philippines. In other words, they like uh, health and welfare checks, things like that, I guess they're talking about. They published 22 safety and security messages for U.S. citizens visiting and living in the Philippines. They addressed 20,000 inquiries related to U.S. citizen services. Now, here's, here's some interesting facts here on uh, processing federal benefits. The embassy's federal benefits unit pays $1.8 billion each year to more than 220,000 beneficiaries in 42 countries throughout the entire Asia re region. Now, let's just talk about Asia. In the Philippines alone, nearly 42,000 Social Security Administration beneficiaries receive approximately $451 million in benefits each year. Um, his fraud prevention, our seasoned anti-fraud professionals investigated 1,572 passport and visa cases. Um, they, in tr they trained 455 external contacts and 180 consular staff on fraud prevention. And, you know, and then public information outreach. They processed 2,500 plus congressional inquiries and 120,000 plus public inquiries. They responded to 20,000 plus call center escalations, 100,000 emails they, they, they answered, and 1,400 letters. They reached a total of 650,000 people with consular related messaging and outreach on social media. Um, this is a actually actually quite an interesting thing here, but I did want to say one more time that after I got to go the, up there the other day and, and I, I got to, as a citizen liaison uh, volunteer, I got to go behind the scenes and see the work that they do and, and get to understand how, how much work these guys do. And, and, and they're, they're hardworking people up there. When you go up there, remember, they have piles of work that you don't see um, and a lot of these people are really overworked and a lot of expats go in there and you know expats want it like that you know and just treat these people good behind the window um, they're all good people up there I got to meet some of them the other day and, and, and you know I got to see where they worked and their workstations and I was very thankful I even got to meet the ambassador the other day and I was very thankful that I got to see that because I can share it with you guys and let you guys know that, remember, when you're talking to somebody up there and there's somebody on the other end of the line, that's a person. And remember, they have rough days too, just like you have rough days, and they deserve to be treated with the utmost respect when you talk to these people. Whether you're talking to somebody in the embassy, in the consular section, or, or at the VA, or what have you, or somebody in social secur the social security section, up at the embassy, remember, respect goes a long way. You know, it really, really does. And and you get a lot more with honey, you know, than than any other way. You know, if you if you talk nice to somebody, they're gonna they're gonna take care of you better. You treat them with disrespect from the beginning. And a lot of Americans are like, I see some guys come over here, and I'm like, man, that guy should have stayed back in the states because we don't want him over here. And I remember being several times, and I've even talked about this in my vlogs many times, that I've ran into people that are talking to the people on the other side of the window like they're a piece of crap. And you don't start off a conversation that way. I don't care what happened to you before then, take a deep breath and say, hi, how you doing today? You guys doing good back there? You know, maybe you can help me with this here. That's the best way to start off a conversation rather than give them that our, our usual American crappy attitude. We come over here to change that, all of us did. We come over here to get away from that. 
yet a lot of guys carry that in them and think that they can still treat people that way and it's sad and you know i hear this all the time from americans complaining about americans um remember it's time to change for all of us um i catch myself sometimes being like that you know i think all of us have it kind of ingrained in us from living in the u.s but remember just treat them with respect treat them with respect both at the va um whether you're making a call to social security or the, or the embassy for something you need help with something always use respect these people at this place work hard they really do work hard anyway guys god bless take care i hope you enjoyed today's show i just want to throw out those numbers i thought it'd be kind of interesting so you can learn some of that stuff you can play it back if you want to get some you know to get some of those numbers back because i know i went through them fairly fast um, but there's a lot of information there and the the fact about that there's 700,000 u.s citizens in the Philippines at any given time was actually quite shocking to me. I didn't know the numbers were that high. That's very high. God bless, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the show.